all staffer in the office of the deputy governor of Edo State, including political appointees, have now fully resumed at the new office at number seven Osadebe Avenue, GRA Benin City. Although BTV crew were prevented from assessing the various offices, the workers have fully resumed at their offices. BTV News, Rebecca Goffey has the details. After the drama on Monday, 18 September 2023, where the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Comrade Philip Chaibu, was locked out of his office at Government House, the political appointees of the Deputy have now been forced to resume at the new office on No. 7 Osadebe Avenue in compliance to the directive of the Governor. It was discovered that even with the rush to send the Deputy Governor parking from the Dennis Osadebe Avenue, the new office is not yet ready as workmen were seen walking around the office premises, an indication that the office was not ready in the first place. Sources said all the workers have resumed at the time the news visited, but the news crew were prevented from taking video shots, apparently to avoid the hammer from higher quarters. Our findings, however, reveal that there is no alternative source of power at the new deputy governor's office, meaning that the workers may just be at the mercy of the Benin Electricity Company, while staff, including the deputy governor, will have no choice than to walk in the dark. The official vehicle of the deputy governor was not in the car park, which suggests that he was yet to resume at the time of the visit. Benin City residents have been speaking on the full-blown rift between the governor and his deputy and appealed to the governor to make peace with his deputy. He already, you know, apologized and he even withdrew the case from the court. I think I should forgive him. Somebody should remind the governor that the deputy has written and he has withdrawn the case. He has written an apology. Then that is, he is a human being. He can make mistakes. Since the, gov uh, the deputy governor pleaded, the governor should use a fatherly hand to call him back and settle with him so that the state can move forward. They should just resolve the matter. The way they started, they should go back to that way. They should try and reconcile. The governor should find it in his heart to forgive him. The governor is still not allowing him to the office. It shows that uh, the rift between them is still not settled. If it was settled, of course, when you talk of forgiveness, if he has been forgiven, then all the rights and privileges that ought to have been due to him will be given back to him. Tongue and the teeth, they normally quarrel. It's a normal thing. But I believe as matured people, whenever issues come up, we should be matured enough to resolve our differences, for at least for the sake of the peace of the state. Recall that the sister-in-law to the deputy governor, Mrs. Sabina Shikere, was recently sacked by the governor, which many people also attributed to the fight between the governor and his deputy. Rebecca Goffey, reporting for BTV News.